so on my last video, which was a Q&A video, I put out a little teaser to say that there'd be something special going on on this here channel um, through December. It is not Vlogmas, unfortunately my life is way too boring for Vlogmas to be a thing. Um, but instead on my channel we are going to have the 12 days of Christmas. Oh yeah! Basically the plan is that there is going to be a Christmassy themed video every other day on this channel. I think this is probably going to be something that I will regret when I lose all contact with the human world because I'm spending my entire life on the computer, but I think it's going to be awesome. And today we are kicking things off with the winter tag! It's actually called the winterlicious tag, but I feel like I'm going to vomit every time I say that. <laughs> so we're just going to call it the winter tag. So the first question of this tag is favourite winter nail polish. Now we all know that I am not exactly the most beauty of beauty gurus out there, so I don't really have one. Who has a favourite winter nail polish? Surely you just put on any nail polish that you want to. Similarly to favourite winter candle and things like that. What? I just, I just smell stuff that I want to smell! But for the sake of this tag, seeing as this is the first question, I thought I'd better answer it properly. So I'm just going to say that I am enjoying this colour, which is on my nails right now, and that is Essie Bordeaux. Um, it's a beautiful kind of dark wine red, as the name would suggest, and obviously it's ruddy festive as well, so we're on to our winner with that one. I think everybody's probably going to say red, but I would also say that like icy blues like this one are really nice. This is model own blue blue. <laughs> um, and then obviously we've got to have a bit of sparkle going on, and this is Models Own Juicy Jewels, and I think those two together would look really nice and wintry as well. Question number dos is favourite lip product. Um, again, this is going to be mega cliche, isn't it? But red lipstick's always nice for crimbo because, well, it is. Today I am wearing Mac Lady Danger, I think, which is I think a bit more of a summery red, but I also really love. Kate Moss Rimmel 107, which is the really dark, intense, deep red, um, and yeah, just any kind of red lip is always going to be great for Christmas. Um, but then my other kind of winter essential lip product would be a lip balm, because I'm addicted to lip balm. I get that like horrendous feeling when you're like, oh my god, I have to have lip balm right now, and then if I can't get some, I like have to go and buy some. It, it's kind of crazy, but nobody wants to be getting chap lips, do they? So, gotta have a lip balm. Question number three is most worn winter clothing item. And winter hasn't actually hit yet, I don't know if you can see, but it is the most glorious day today. Like, there hasn't been weather this beautiful since about June, but I am predicting that I am going to be wearing this until it is a worn thread on my back. But if you thought this was awesome as it is, just hold up one moment. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good! <laughs> oh, I could never, I will never get tired of this. It is just the best thing. For anyone else who wants to join the awesome club and get one of these, um, this is from Primark Men's section. It was £18, which is the biggest waste of money I've ever spent in my life, but I could not leave this on the shelf. It's just so good. Yeah! <laughs> okay, let's turn this off. Question number four is my most worn winter accessory, and there's only one choice for this. I have been wearing this to death, and that is my tartan scarf! You guys know it, I love this already. I featured it in like 20 million videos already. Um, but this one, this particular one I got from ASOS last year, when you literally couldn't find one anywhere. I think ASOS was like the only place that sold a nice one. Um, but now they're here, there and everywhere, it's, they've really kind of taken off this year and everyone is wearing them, but that has not stopped me wearing this to death. I wear it every single day. Um, I get a surprising amount of compliments on it, everyone seems to be digging the tartan this year. And it feels kind of Christmassy as well, I don't know if that's just me. Maybe it's my Scottish roots. I don't have any Scottish roots. Question number five is the most annoying girly question of all time. Favourite winter scent slash candle? Uh, I don't really have one, but I do actually have some like Yankee candles on the way because I felt like I was missing out. This is the thing about like blogging and YouTube, like girls get these stupid little like obsessions and then if you don't have it you're like, 
why don't I have this? I must get this. And, and that is candles at the moment. Everyone's digging candles because it's winter. Basically, I ordered a whole load of like the new Christmassy scents. So they tend to fall into two categories, I think, which is either like the warm and spicy ones, um, kind of the cinnamony, mulled winey kind of smells, or on the other flip side, there's like the super sweet smells, which are like Christmas cookie, and I think one's called like Merry Marshmallow or something. But I'm looking forward to receiving them. Hopefully they will arrive soon and change my life and transform me into some amazingly elegant beauty guru that probably doesn't wear jumpers like this. <laughs> Question number says is... I can't remember. Favourite winter beverage? Something creamy, something warm, something that's probably half my daily allowance of calories. At the moment I am like loving Costa's Christmas drinks. They are so delicious, mainly because they've all got about this much cream just like swirled on the top of them but that's always a winner with me. Um, I'm loving their gingerbread latte. You get a little gingerbread man like stuck in the top of it and some like gold stars and stuff so that's always nice. Then the other one, oh salted caramel I think it is because that is just, that is just like heaven in a glass like it's so delicious. The next question is favourite Christmas movie and I could literally talk about this for about 30 years. Like we will all be old and grey and celebrating Christmas in like 2075 by the time I finish answering this question. I think my favourites are probably The Grinch because it is so, I love Jim Carrey and I just think it's the funniest film. I love the bit where he's in Lederhosen and he's like, ooh, ah, oh, that's it, I'm not going. I love it so much. I might watch that this afternoon. I also love a really old one that I used to watch when I was really little, so it reminds me of like magical Christmases, and that's um, The Santa Claus, not, or is it Santa Claus the movie? Yeah, it's Santa Claus the movie. The Santa Claus is the one with Tim Allen, who like takes over Father Christmas, isn't it? And I like that one too. I love that one. But the one I'm talking about is a really old one. It's about an elf that leaves Father Christmas to go and work for like a corporate company. Sounds crap, but it's so good. And I also love Elf because Elf is hilarious. I'm probably like the only good modern Christmas movie. Fun fact about me, I only ever saw Home Alone for the first time two years ago with my boyfriend's family and they were outraged and all my friends have been outraged since I've revealed that fact to them. So I feel like I missed out slightly there with Home Alone, but I love that too. That was an awesome movie. Okay, Lucy, stop talking about films now. This is getting a bit ludicrous. Another one I could talk about forever is favorite Christmas song. And I have to confess that like the last week in November I have been listening to Christmas albums a lot. I've been particularly loving Michael Bublé's Christmas album. He is just so smooth and wonderful and his voice is literally just like ovary imploding. Wham! Last Christmas, that is a classic and oh I love them all, whatever. Favourite holiday food? Oh god, this is gonna be never ending, this video. I think my favourite is probably gingerbread. I could literally eat gingerbread till the cows come home. I love Christmas dinner, obviously. Uh, those little sausages and bacon. Oh, good grief. Give me a plate of them and I will just be like, oh, rah, 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 rah. even though I'm meant to be vegetarian, but we put things on hold at Christmas, people. It's fine. Stuffing, potatoes. Uh, I also love Yule log. I love mince pies, I love candy canes, I love... This isn't... Oh! Oh, I just remembered for favourite winter beverage I should have said mulled wine. Mulled wine. Question number 10 is what is your favourite Christmas decoration this year? My favourite this year, I think he's out of shot, but it's this little guy. Oh. <laughs> I just think he's so cute! I saw him in Tesco's last week and I think he was about a pound and I just thought he was so cute and like retro and 60s. Just a little Bambi to have scampering around my tree. So should we just pop him on here so that we can see him? Or up here maybe. Let's put him up here. Oh whatever, just go somewhere. But I also like this little plaque which says Merry Christmas. That was also from Tesco's. Uh, they were like three for two I think so it was like I bought that one, that one, and then I also bought this one. I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well if I hold it up against my jumper maybe. It's like a little winter scene with like silver glitter on it and it's made of wood and I just thought it was really kind of kitsch and cute. Um, and I also like this little one and it's just got 
two turtle doves in a little heart and I just think that's really pretty. And the final decoration I'm loving this year is this little guy! Uh, I bought him from Lakeland the other day and he was only £3 and I just thought he was mega cute. And he's got a bell on him. Question 11 is what is at the top of your Christmas list this year? Uh, to be honest, I haven't really even thought about my own Christmas list because I have just been obsessed with what I'm going to buy other people this year. So I haven't really thought about myself at all. Um, there's a couple of bits of makeup that I'd quite like. I would love the um, Hourglass Ambient Light powder. So I think it's going to be a, a Christmas full of surprises because I haven't really asked for anything. But that's always cool. I love a good surprise. And the final question is question number 12 and that is what are your plans for Christmas this year? This year is going to be a weird Christmas for me because my mum and my stepdad have moved abroad and my dad and my stepmum live down south anyway so I don't see them at Christmas. Um, but usually it's a very family affair for us. But this year no one's gonna be here. <laughs> so I'm spending the day with my boyfriend and his family. And I think we'll all have Christmas dinner together with his grandparents and his cousins and things like that. And then in the evening, we'll probably all get slowly rotten drunk and his granddad will be asking us all to give him a song. That's what he tends to do. Um, I think it's gonna be really nice. Obviously it's weird that I'm not with my family and loads of you probably find that like crazy because Christmas is such a family thing but we'll make up for it when they get back in July we're gonna have like a mid-year Christmas like a big Christmas dinner and stuff on the 25th of July instead to like make up for it so that should be quite cool um, aside from like actual Christmas day I am having a Christmas shindig on the 23rd with like all my old school friends and stuff so that will be awesome and then on Christmas Eve I'm working for a bit of it which is a bit um, but then on Christmas Eve night um, me and my friends all tend to get together and have a bit of a bevy and a bit of a sing song and that so that'll be dead nice. So that is the end of the winter tag. I am now feeling suitably excited. It is officially the first day of December today so we are all allowed to now start talking about Christmas. Anyone who tells you otherwise send them to me and I will just flash in their face. That sounds weird. I mean the jumper. If this got you feeling a little bit festive then how about a bit of a festive thumbs up? on the tree and i hope you're all very excited for the next month of christmas awesomeness and i will see you in a couple of days for my next 12 days of christmas video bye